heavy breathing incurs or whatever. All right, guys. So we just came up North Carolina, 80, the Devil's Whip. Um, we're right here at the bot or at the meetup with Junction. Yeah. Meetup Junction, I can't fucking talk. Junction of North Carolina 80 in the Blue Ridge Parkway. We're gonna go south on the Blue Ridge Parkway down towards Mount Mitchell State Park, and hopefully we can make the observation deck. We should have plenty of time. Um, but yeah, should be a good ride. just already got a bug in my face. I don't know if you guys could pick that up on the GoPro or not. Um, I'm yelling at you guys again. All right, 16 miles to Mount Mitchell. I'm gonna have some really good views on the way too. Um, one thing I will say though, the road surface up this way sucks. Especially once we get closer to the mountain the bottom of the mountain all the way in front of it actually was that coming up from I think it might be both sides um, I came up the other way from Asheville yesterday and it was just do -do 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 -do. fucking road surface was horrible <laughs> there's a decent view this is the twin tunnels these are gonna be wet I just gave them a fucking earache. Uh, mossy. Ugh. I love once you get up to the, the top of the parkway up here, you've got the, you switch sides. You've got your view on your right, and then you'll go over the top of the mountain, and then you'll get the view on your left for a while. It's gorgeous up here, guys. I can't say it enough. I'm hoping you guys aren't getting too much wind in the microphone. Um, I'm going to have to get a pot filter for this thing eventually. I just couldn't find one at the time. That's one of those you don't want to fuck up and fall off hills. There's a lot of those up here. A whole lot of them. This is a whole nother level of riding up here, guys. This isn't your average, oh, well, he, he low-sided, but he just went into a field and he's okay. This is, oh, well, he low-sided and then proceeded to fall off a 1,500-foot cliff because there's nothing, nothing there on the side of the road to stop you. A little bit damp, not terrible, though. It must have rained up here early this morning or last night. A bit damp there. There's those bumps again. Yeah, it is this section too. All that shit. on the right side of the road. temperature just must have dropped a good 10-15 degrees. Oh, it's nice up here. It's really nice up here today. Ouch. 
clutch and bumps. scared myself on that corner. I don't know if you guys saw it or not. There's no, no need for a freak out, but I freak myself out. There's a good view. Yeah, that's a nice one. I love it when it's a, li a tiny little bit cloudy because you can see the clouds on the ground below where the clouds are moving over. brings me to a little topic I can talk about future bikes and I mean different bikes in general when I get this thing um, she's not there yet but what and I know bikes are never complete but when I get it to the point where I can call it done I guess um, I'm definitely thinking about at least an adventure bike if not super moto I'm thinking more towards adventure though just for the simple fact of wow that's another one um, the simple fact that I have all these roads up here like this that's there I'm another one well I'll have to start making a, a counter for the don't fuck up turns that's another one of them I mean there's nothing there absolutely nothing if you fuck up nobody especially I mean I'm up here by myself I got my phones on GPS for emergencies and shit but, I mean, if you ever went off the side of the mountain and you're up here by yourself, nobody, uh, nobody'd know. Um, but anyway, yeah, adventure bikes. There's all sorts of roads up here, and these dirt roads are, I mean, they're not closed off or anything like that. Like, you saw that road was completely open. You can just go ahead and drive right down it. I mean, there's campgrounds and spots you can you can just go over. You gotta register like your vehicle first, but you're free to camp up here whenever you want. I'll show you guys the signs when we get up to Mount Mitchell. There's there's signs that say camper overnight campers must register vehicles. There's so many different spots up here, apart from paved only roads. see stuff uh whatchamacallits somebody say it in the comments stalactites stalagmites which ones the ones that go down from up <laughs> i'm so good at explaining shit uh just for the hell of it because i mean while i'm driving i can't really stop and look at these some of these views so How's that for a view? Of course, the plaque's way down there of what you can see. Um, sometimes on some of these overlooks, you look down, you can see like eagle nests and stuff in the tops of the trees. I'm guessing that used to be a sign. I don't like leaving my bike all the way up there. At least there's nobody else up here. That's what it is. The first U.S. Forest Service to trek. Um, this whole, the, well, 
I think it's back that way is the, the cradle of forestry, the first cradle of forestry in America. That's where forestry, the whole forestry thing started. Um, so this is that area here. Oh my goodness. I don't care. I don't care how many times I look at this. It never gets old. Never gets old. We're almost at cloud level. I'm out of breath already. We will be above cloud level as soon as we get to Mount Mitchell, which I believe shouldn't be too much further. Um, I don't know if that's Table Rock off the distance there, that pointy one. All right, let's continue. I want to have enough sunlight left to try and get up to the Linville Cove area, because that area is beautiful. It's all sky bridges along the side of the mountain. Whew. I'm sorry you guys are putting up with my heavy breathing. And go. Buddy, really? That's the kind of guy that would drive off the side of the mountain in his little little car driving like this. Not only drive off the side of the mountain, that's the guy that would come around a curve like this halfway over the line. See these corners will sneak up on you like that. They do it often if you're not prepared for them. of the mountain right here, this little section, right between the peaks. Ooh, this got chilly. It's gonna get, if it's chilly down here, it's gonna be cold up at the top of Mount Mitchell. I'm glad I brought my thermal with me. And it's, the, <laughs> it's going into the middle of July and I'm going, ooh, it's cold. This is another one of them, them, another one of them, another one of those corners. Uh, Mount Mitchell, that's the FM station right there, we'll be driving by that. Um, so we're not terribly far. I do need to, oh, I'm not gonna be able to check the weather. <laughs> well. I'm looking up and I'm seeing a little bit of dark clouds, but it shouldn't be anything bad. I hope. nothing to worry about. That's just the clouds getting a little bit darker as they get to the top of the mountain there. Just making sure we're still recording.
bike's running 162 degrees. Oh, oh my goodness, the line in the road. I was talking about this yesterday and I was so pissed off that the microphone wasn't working. I was ref <laughs> If you guys have played Dark Souls, the original Dark Souls, or I don't know if it happens in the other ones, but you know the little the little stains on the ground where you can see, see how the people before you died and whatnot? That's what that is. I followed it for, oh god, it goes on forever, and it, I don't know if it's coolant or oil or transmission fluid or something, but you can tell they pulled over, and then they kept going, and they pulled over again. I was losing it on the way back down yesterday. There, yeah, that's where we're going. <laughs> I'm gonna have to check. Oh, wow, my accent is getting way too southern for my liking. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna have to check the GoPro lens and make sure you guys aren't covered in shit. section of the road I was talking about. It's really not all that great. There's like humps and dips through the corners like that. 